in terms of the National Democratic Party, I'm curious what your take on this is, because Bernie Sanders lost the nomination, unfortunately, as we all know. Um, and I think that he would have been a really great motivator for younger people to turn out. And I think that um, him not being at the top of the ticket is going to affect turnout for lower races such as yours. So how are you able to make sure that turnout in your district is high if you have someone at the top of the ticket who doesn't necessarily motivate young people, you know, Joe Biden. So how are you kind of offsetting that? Because I think that it would have been easier for candidates to win had we had Bernie as the nominee. But now since Joe Biden is nominee, I feel like, you know, maybe enough anti-Trump voters will come out and choose to support down ballot Democrats. But it's tough to say. So what are you guys looking at in terms of um, upping turnout in your district? You know, I think, I mean, fortunately, Washington state already has autom uh, automatic voter registration that started this year, and we already do mail-in ballots as well. So that's something that helps give us more increased voter turnout than most places. But it's the same thing where, like I said, you know, we can't expect anyone to come in and, and win it for us. A President Sanders wouldn't have been able to get everything he wanted done without a support of Congress. And that would have been probably his main battle, even with largely public support for his policies. And the same goes for President Trump. If he does things that people don't like, it's not going to be able to break rules without a complicit Congress. And so... Um, I, really, I think it's about rethinking the whole model that we approach our electoral system in. We should be focused on having members of Congress, congressional representatives, senators, city council members who we're proud of. We know who the heck they are. We're paying attention to that. And so we're going to increase voter turnout just like we are now when the people who are watching this um, decide to step up and be the leaders that we've been waiting for. Because we are the leaders, you, me, and the people watching this. We're the leaders we're waiting for. Not Bernie, not Biden, not Trump. Nobody comes in. It's up to us to decide that we're going to take a personal role in the outcome of how things go. And when someone who's a text banker or a phone banker or one day again a canvasser knocks on a door and is clearly passionate about a candidate or that candidate does it themselves, that has an impact. That, that, that beats MSNBC. That beats Fox. When you get that face-to-face -face with someone who can have a real conversation with you, break down the straw man, and actually talk about a candidate and who their representative is.